Welcome to a match of StarCraft 2, played by people that are way better than me. The map is Romanticide, landing in the upper left, in blue, the Terran pieces. It is Hero Marine. And the Challenger, landing in the bottom right, wielding Terran pieces, in red. It is Clem. Hero Marine versus Clem. Some top tier Terran things. It's an alliteration, I think. Clem. Clem. That's not where barracks go. So, Clem appears to be taking a bit of a gamble right off the bat here. Hero Marine opening up with a normal standard setup. It looks like barracks at the top, room for the second depot, but Clem, normally, you'd see, of course, the depot barracks up there, but the barracks is down outside the main, outside the natural. The gamble here is twofold. One being Hero Marine will SCV scout. We can see that gamble already paying off. Hero Marine is a CV scouting. And the second gamble is that he's going to go up into the main, not check the third, and find... Oh, <gasps> dun dun dun. No barracks at the top. I don't actually know if he saw it yet. He goes back. <laughs> now he knows. Now he sees it. So where is your barracks, Mr. Clem? So, the deception here is Clem is making it look like he's doing a proxy rex. The barracks is not at the top of the ramp, but you see two depots. Your first thought is going to be, Ooh, am I getting cheesed? The rush is upon me. Bunker at the top, holding back the Reaper, the Marine, and command center built on the high ground. Exactly what you need to do if you feel defensive. You think you're about to get hit with two, three proxy racks worth of Reapers. It is not the case though. Clem, of course, just built his buildings outside his main base. He says, I don't need buildings in my base, that's fine. Hiding the second Reaper, actually. Now, did Hero Marine see it? Oh, he did not. He did not see the buildings there. So now, Clem just going to send the Reapers, the Hellion, across the map while continuing production. So, while not a full-blown aggressive cheese here, he is definitely getting aggressive. Meanwhile, building that CC on the low ground, hoping for just a little bit of economic advantage here. Here, a Marine playing it safe. He built the command center around the high ground. He's got Marines. He's got Hellions ready. I'm not going to join up the forces here or aggression dazzle me not yet apparently not getting aggressive just yet there's a medevac and a cyclone in production also for Clem I wonder if he wants to try and group all of these up and elevator up into the main base of hero marine could be He's continuing production out here. He's just going to have this game with no production facilities in his base. Ignore the starport on screen. I know what you're thinking. Ooh, here's the play. Hero Marine trying to land the command center. But Clem wanting to hide the Reapers, the Hellions here. Can he block it? Oh, no, that's a lot of Hellions from Hero Marine plus dropped marines Clem oh my goodness on the back foot he's getting shut down here lost everything that was at the natural there to a tune of 600 resources lost hero marine has got to be feeling good about that he made a lot of hellions to play it safe and then now he's taking his natural both players pretty much even on that economic field now siege tank pops out at a very scary time here Hero Marine having to back off. Little given, little take. 
He is going to scout both of these buildings here. Siege Tank does take another shot at that heli and not a killing blow though. Who would have thought that getting hit by a Siege Tank shell in your motorbike of a heli in here wouldn't be fatal. Clam. Clam you styling madman. Drop micro with the tank to get shots off. Come on. Very nice play. So the follow up, I see Raven drop in the natural. Excellently done for Hero Marine. Getting a couple SCVs, forcing the army back, meanwhile hitting those buildings with just a little bit of fire, which surprisingly does not deal a lot of damage. You would think that setting a building on fire would be more catastrophic than it actually is. Hellions don't do that much damage to buildings. So, drop now going out. He's got eight marines in it. He's got the tank push coming up the front. What is the play going to be? Is he just trying to distract Hero Marine? Get some economic damage done? Maybe set up a contain out front? Are these medevacs going to meet? Medevac meeting? Anonymous? Oh, Hero Marine just barely sees it. Scan as he's pushing forward. Siege tank set up outside. Main base now under fire. Three, four SCVs and counting. Pulling the boys off the line. Meanwhile, tanks defensively set up at the front here. Siege tank, fire, good interference. Matrix, though. Raven play, putting in work. Marines are cleaned up in the main base. Seven SCVs in total went down. And now the battle is at the front door. Clem knocking away. Is Hero Marine going to answer, though? Siege tanks, just doing a little bit of positioning. This third CC is in a bit of peril, actually. It's about to hit red. All right, repairs are going out. Clem on sieges. Hero Marine pushing forward. Ooh, auto turrets everywhere, both sides. Machine gun fire. Clem is beaten back, though. Hero Marine is safe. He's breaking out of the contain with his third CC intact and this army crushed. I would say he's in a very good position. Clem, with the reinforcement Marines, going to make sure Hero Marine doesn't get too greedy, too aggressive, but the real victory here, I feel, is in the command centers. Hero Marine already has his third CC built as an orbital and landing. Clem's is just now finishing initial construction. Upgrades. So Clem's going to have STEM first. If Hero Marine is even planning to get STEM, I'm not sure. Tank production, though, not too much right now. Clem is producing more tanks, it looks like, and adding on more barracks. Both players now have taken their third. Oh, the bear portrait. I saw it. I like that. Good job, Clem scan at the supposed third base. I don't think Clem can actually take this base right now because of the tech lab. He would have to destroy the tech lab to be able to take it. Which makes sense then why he took the aggressive third base outside the natural ramp you see. Siege tank set up. Defensive line for both players. Clem taking out his anger and fury at the rocks. It's looking like a fairly quiet moment right now. How are you today? How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Viking production. Hero Marine actually the only one with Vikings on the field. That's pretty big, I feel. Clem up in the Marine Marauder count. Tanks are even, but... The Viking count might come into play later on. TVT usually, eh, it's like a stepladder almost. You have Marine phase, then players will move into tanks, which kind of hard counter the Marines. So then Marines are less useful. You start building tanks until somebody builds Liberators, which then break tank lines. But then you can build Vikings to beat the Liberators. And then you need marines to beat the vikings. It, it's a mess, really, is the best way I can put it. 
but it works and it's entertaining to watch, but it feels chaotic. Everything kind of counters everything. Upgrades finishing just about the same for both players. Very nice timing here. Clamp loading up the Doom Drop. I see. Five medevacs full of things. Plus the Raven. Hero Marine. He's got Sensor Tower up on this top side, so he will be able to see the red ping if anything hits that Sensor Tower range. Oh, but the Marines find this. Don't lose the Raven. All right. Everything's still alive for Clem, but now he knows about this little group of Marines. Siege tank set up, doesn't want to get blanked or caught off guard, it seems. Hero Marine stepping out. Big stem forward, Clem. No, don't unsiege. Oh, that was very bad timing. An interference matrix on the Medivax Vikings gun them down. Huge arc of Marines here for Clem, but unfortunately that's all he really has. He lost all of the tanks, either on the ground or in the interference matrixed medevacs. Didn't think I'd say that actually. Kind of funny. Good job, Hero Marine, though. Taking out those medevacs, getting rid of the tanks gives him a definite edge here. He is up in the tank count. He's up in the Marine count and definitely up in the Viking count, too. Coming in now, huge arc climb, pulling the boys. Try and distract the siege tank shots. The bio war is over, but the tanks are still here. Hero Marine looking like he's going to be able to hold his position here. Inch forward, maybe start shelling the... Ooh, whoa. Have to pay respects for that tank. Siege tanks are set up here. Both players streaming their reinforcements across now. Marines pushing forward, gunning the tanks down. Two tanks go down, but there's still two more. Hero Marines reinforcements saving those two tanks. 2-2 two, two finishing for Hero Marine first, who's now opting for a drop. Gotta watch the turret, though. Siege tanks now set up in the main and the third here. He's able to hit the production. Clem taking some hits. Pushing forward with the Marines. Oh, siege tanks firing on siege tanks. The Vikings of Clem going to completely demolish that attack. A d definitely a good thought by Hero Marine. Try and distract Clem. Get some forces up in the main, but Climb with a great response, saving the barracks production, not losing a whole lot in that endeavor, it seemed. Hero Marine is ahead in the resources lost category. Tanks set up in the middle of the field. The scan off now. The scan war. You scan me, I scan you. I don't even need to see what you have, it's just a statement. It's the premise. It's like scans are emotionally violating huge group of marines here for hero marine and you do not want to mess with these marines because each one of them is a hero marine let that one sink in clem now comfortably sitting on four bases here hero marine also on the fourth base planetary on the low ground bringing up his army Oh, Clem with a great defensive line here. Not sure you really want to press that without Viking, without Liberator, Raven support, too. Some interference matrices should clean that up nicely. Rock's going to be gunned down for future endeavors. Meanwhile, the forces navigating around. Sensor towers for both players. They are going to see most of these movements. Stimming forward. Meanwhile, the reinforcements from the south side. Hero Marines setting up a great position. Siege tanks taking out way too many Marines. Disgusting amount of damage. How's the Viking count looking? Six Vikings to, of Clem. Seventh at big battle, though. 
huge amount of fire, blood on both sides. Looking like Hero Marines winning the tank battle though. And the Viking battle. Marines are pretty much set to zero for both players, but the tank count and the Viking count says it all. Hero Marine is going to hold this position here, outside Clem's base. This is a tense moment. Any Terran out there knows how tense this feels. You feel like you've got to do something to try and break this, but how? Clem, I feel, needs liberators. The starport production is really what's lacking here. Hero Marine is up in Vikings. He's definitely up in siege tanks. You need a way to flip the table. Metaphorically, we're not actually throwing tables here. Lots of repairs going out on that orbital. It is still alive, still kicking. But for how long? Hero Marine now reinforcing. Plus, Hero Marine is producing his own liberators. Clem, none. Nowhere to be found. And there's only one Viking? There's just no starport production for Clem. I don't feel like this is something that Clem can really wiggle out of without the Vikings, without the Liberator support. You're left with your own just Marines and tanks, which, what do you do? Stim forward and get hit by 11 siege tanks? That's a death sentence. What is the play here, Clem? He's taking another base, and now Hero Marines Liberators are here. And that is the power of the Liberator. It forces the tanks back. Oh, Vikings shooting down the medevacs, Liberators pushing more tanks back. Hero Marine is going to be able to take this base. Down it goes. Clem, now is the time he's pushing forward. Liberator sieging up. Tanks, Marines being dropped behind the lines though. Clem losing his all of his Marines, they're gone. It's just tanks versus tanks. Plus Hero Marine still has the Vikings. Tension. Hero Marine definitely in the better spot for this. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm calling GG. Hero Marine taking the game. Very decisive push here. Setting up an incredible contain outside the third base of Clem. I feel that really boiled down to air support, to the air battle. Hero Marine had the superior Viking count and he started producing Liberators, bringing them up to support his higher siege tank count, of course. Clem just really didn't have any tools, any options to completely break the contain. A well-earned GG to Hero Marine. If you enjoyed the game, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Hit those fancy YouTube buttons. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.